everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Higurashi no Nakakoroni, or Higurashi when they cry, Oni Kakushi. And we are going to load this shit up. Yes. There's no way I wouldn't like that. I miss miso soup and lots of ingredients. The rice, carrots, bedrock root, potatoes dense with fibrous roots. Yeah, that miso soup looks so incredible. Got some rice so you can make your way of it and eat it really quickly. Now that I rice needs miso soup. Stuffing rice with you in your gullet. Sitting miso soup in, be in between ravenous bites. Ah oh, yes, how wonderful it is to be born Japanese. Also, I made more pickles. I made uh, something pickles this time. Before I moved here to Hinizawa, I scoffed at the mountain of vegetable called San Sansai. I have been captivated by the chai the first time I tried. Yep, deep light flavor, the vegetable from the super air where it tastes like in blank compared to these. If you had to describe them, they were vegetables for the uh, uninitiated. To become an expert such as myself, you had to first partake in sonsai. There's common knowledge around here that the Ryuga family traditionally pick pickles were wonderfully delicious. And no matter what kind of pickles they were, they they go so well with that fluffy rice. And also, also, but wait, there's more! So delicious! It seems so delicious. Farewell um, to my unhealthy self who said he'd do with a cup of noodles. And I'm eating good soups and shoved off eggs with delicious sun dinner. Stress evaporated from my gut and hunger reared its ferocious head. At the same time, my weariness arena such such so dwindled. Rena did did say she was alone. She made a problem letting her inside, though the possibility it was laced with poison still hadn't been ruled out. The moment a cold chill ran down my spine again, once again. Couldn't understand why such a sensation occurred just then. But the voice inside me was sounding the alarm. Happy Raina speaking of this charming dinner was dependent on one premise. And that premise was tonight dinner hadn't be been made at my house. Meaning it was under the assumption my mom, who should should be making it, wasn't here. At normal house, till 7 o'clock would be around the middle of dinner time. My mom over here would be eating dinner around this time as well. The fact that she brought it all over making a, of a meal at this time is inherently strange. Unless she knew. Reyna, did she? Did she know that my parents weren't home? But there's also a chance that that was a blog. Turned out the lights and a bunch of other stuff, but it seemed like my parents were here. There's a chance that Reyna was unsure if my parents were home. But I wonder. The laundry and the... And I gathered the evening paper. There are plenty of size of them being hastily tidied up. Hard to say that Rena didn't have a chance to determine if my parents were here or not. But there was no reason for me to confess to her right now. So I held on to this fact as long as I could. First of all, the chain was still latched. As long as I didn't take it off, Rena wouldn't be able to do anything to me. I'm quite grateful for the banner, but really? Pretty soon? Huh? Is that so? Is that so? I know you went through all the effort and everything, but well, maybe it'll take a good way to fuse my roast head off weekly. It's some of the, this could work as side dishes, I think, I think. I'm sorry. We have more than enough already. I makes quite a few sides, so. Huh? You have side dishes? For on cringe, I do question apologetically. But feeling I had tried to ignore it began creeping up again. I uh, spoke to this, my mom was setting down dinner now. It might mesh well with, with what Raina was saying. Raina was talking as she was aware of the obvious fact, and that I was aware of it too. So Kate, can can cook. What did you make, I wonder? No, well, it's not that I... And I sent out of nowhere I made the dishes. Not so much I'd made them, but rather that my mom hadn't. Did you really make them? The side dish? You okay, Chicken? It wasn't me who made them, Mom did. No, she's making them. Right now. Daisy, I'm sorry, but I can't eat what you brought. We ran and fell silent for a moment. In a moment, I felt that the light had suddenly disappeared from her eyes. How about I, 
I try guessing what Kichikun's dinner will be? Doesn't matter what I'm gonna eat. Let's see. Conversation appears at a natural first glance, but Reina was firmly in control. Felt like I was being interrogated. Your dinner, I wonder, is something to do with be made with just hot water. Hey now, stop with the insults. I can't believe you belittle my mom so. Can't believe you to belittle my mom's extravagant dinner like that. We get sold out full capacity already. It's a that amazing. Trying to invest to put on a strong thump, but I could can grit my teeth quite right, right. So instead, I look like someone who was borderline hysterical. Lorena showed no reaction whatsoever to that silliness. Gage-kun, did your mother really make dinner? No, oh, she she didn't leave me dinner. She's making it right now. It's almost time for dinner. Lorena had a assertion in mind th that my mom was home making dinner right now. I was completely ignoring it. I could tell I was more panicked the colder Lorena became. Hey, Kichikun. At the moment, I come by the chill between the gap in the door. Is your mom home, I wonder, I wonder? I couldn't keep up the charade anymore. Right now, she knew well that my parents weren't home. But I come too far to admit that now. Anyway, my parents were here and we're having dinner soon. That's the situation I connected. So I answered. I told her she was here. She's here, of course. You mean to be drawing out of the surrounding air. Raina's eyes became even more frigid, piercing with that jelly glare. Why? Huh? What do you mean? I tried out to cash over, but the facade was torn up the instant. I looked into Raina's eyes. I looked in front of me, Raina's response faster than she could open her mouth. Why have you been lying to me? I wonder, I wonder. I'm not lying. That's a lie, isn't it? It's not a lie. Lies! Raina is not a person to jolt to injure my body. Raina and I were separated from fever as lately a chair. Little chain door I could afford. Despite that, I was still being cornered. In a house, which I consider a safe haven until now, I have been more like a dark alley where no one can save me. Shall I guess you didn't or Kate Chikun? Let me see. I know that Raina and I already knew my parents were not here tonight, but it was so strange that it had come to this. Even somehow she knew my parents were not home. There's no way she should be able to guess what I'd be eating tonight. Raina said she guessed. How could she do that? How could she know it was instant cup noodles? That's right, isn't it? Th that I was going to eat. Like cooking repertoire of a man who can't do household work is probably nothing but cup noodles after all. Looking this statistically, it was, it was the most probable answer. That didn't mean she was guessing. I don't think you'll just you'll be full with just noodles. Having rice and stuff will definitely hit the spot. Calm down, Kichi my bar. This is just a coincidence. Raina is just reading certain tales of mine. And so the fact that she was interfering inferring was that thinking made me alarmed. But it wasn't like she was actually reading my mind. But it was being read and she was a demon. No, not a demon like that they couldn't possibly exist do you like them do you mean noodles no mm. and i pointed out my answer addressing the was wrong her battle was so short the more terry didn't understand the words right now spoken Serena, what did you say just now huh about what just, you asked me something it I, that i liked didn't you hold on before i gritted how carelessly i pushed forward that question that's just a simple answer, that's why I was able to comprehend it. Pork and ginger flavor. Pork bone and ginger flavor. I wonder if it appeared most far my face went blank until the moment I was able to recover. My field of vision began to distort, slowly swirling counterclockwise to lift and I lost sense of balance. What? How do you- Why do you know that? I didn't even deny it. That's the type of frenzy state I was in. How could Raina know this? Not even caring, I mashed my head against the door and fixate my eyes on Raina. She didn't even flinch when she saw me do that. Certainly, I did buy them. I buy a bunch of them. Buy a whole case. How could you know that? Why, I wonder. Quite strange, isn't it? Isn't it? How could you dodge the question at this time like this? Then the door was suddenly no longer protecting me. How do you know? Why do you know? 
Are you stalking me? You brought them at the seven mark, didn't you? Chill ran up my spine. I tried to covering up with an angry facade. Like I said, why do you know that? I was behind you, following you the whole time. What are you saying? I couldn't understand why she was saying she'd been following me all this time. That's because Rena was right behind. In case she comes back the whole time. <laughs> like that night. That night I was absorbed in my phone conversation with Oisie Son. Didn't even sense her behind there. Standing behind the door, behind me, standing there, just like that. When Keiichi was picking up the noodles, I was watching the entire time. You picked out so many different flavors, didn't you? Then your mom got angry. You're going to pick the expensive one, and you should pick one type, she said. And Keiichi picked out a big box of pork, bone, and ginger flavor that he loved so much, didn't he? I like it too. Pork bone noodles? I can never eat a whole big bowl myself. My brain was paralyzed, dulling my senses. It might have been a defense mechanism to diminish the fear I was feeling to now traumatizing levels. The fear diminished, the fog enveloped my mind was cleared away. Then I could understand what Reno was saying and started to put meaning behind her words. Even though my fear hadn't subsided completely. It was like I was standing on the edge of a cliff, eyes closed, and I didn't have to look down. I didn't actually solve any of the basic problems. Slowly I took a te step backwards, and as I withdrew, Raina advanced. So, Keiichi kun can you open this? We can have dinner together. I'm sure it's going to be delicious, so okay? Pale singer squints through the crack of the door one at a time, as if they had a mind of their own rattling the chain. If she unlocked the chain from the door, a feeling terror would just explode within me. But Raina couldn't do that. She was simply imploring me to remove the chain, trying your hardest to lightly fuse the power keg in my heart, trying again and again, clatter, clatter, it doesn't, but it doesn't light, it doesn't light, open up, Kate Chicken, please go away, I beg of you, please go away, how can you say something so mean, I wonder, I wonder, please go away, go away, go away, powder keg inside me, finally went out, no, smoldering it just exploded i tackled the door the force from the door had knocked rain out momentarily off balance couldn't hesitate here i grabbed onto the doorknob with both hands planted my feet firmly and pulled with all my might the slamming sound i, I so desired didn't happen i could feel a tiny disturbance bit of resistance keeping the door from closing Sorts of was Raina's fingers, each of those fingers really and squirming in the tendrils, trying to his plant for the crackway of the door. It hurts, it hurts, Kichikun, it hurts, it hurts. It's a harsh shriek and yelp she was trying to keep back. Go away, go away, go away! Keep pulling at the door, pulling on the door with all my might. Then we realized that it loosened. With my pull on the door, it lessened momentarily. Raina won't be able to pull her fingers out, that's why the door wasn't closing. Are they hurt, Skate Chikun? I'm sorry if I messed around too much. Oh. I didn't care one bit for her apology. Or how much she apologized. It didn't change any way what she'd done up until now. It didn't change anything. It hurts. It hurts. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Go away. Go away. Go away. Raina couldn't leave if she wanted because I trapped her fingers. Raina's white fingers had become deep red and they were no longer even swearing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go away, go away, go away! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Rena's apology were occasionally twisting in pain, but like a broken reaction, she was intent on repeating it over and over. Go away, go away, go away. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I pulled the door on even harder. Finally, Rena's fingers were somehow able to come out of the door, prison out of the doorway. The moment that happened, the door closed soundly, and I could hear a thud of Raina falling on her butt on the other side. I locked the door immediately. Made a loud clunk. Voice voicing my rejection to Raina. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm can't you come? I'm sorry, open up, can't you come? Raina leaned against the door, apologizing profusely, and nothing else. Bring my sufficient steel from her, I trudged away from the entryway. On the other side I could still hear Raina echoing her apology. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Those pitiful words, they will forever seek my forgiveness. 
I didn't feel bad for about this at all. But it, that wasn't out of any sort of malice. It's just for the for the hazy relief I was able to escape from Reina. Romy on had threatened me at the store saying there was nothing she didn't know. And now just in the same place Reina told me the same thing. My feeble attempts to disguise the fact my parents were at home has served no purpose from the start. I should have just pretended to be out and not even opened the door. My meager plans hadn't helped at all. In Amy's hour, it's impossible to outwit them. Even though I was on the other side of the door and wanted to get as far away from Reina as possible, I once said two times. But each her sniffling apologies became more distant. I sprinted up the stairs and dove into my room. As I expected, I finally no longer to hear rain not repeating her endless apology. Diving into bed, I was startled by what I had felt. There was something in my bed. It was just a receiver. I finally remembered. I was in the middle of a call with Oishi Son. Making the clock apparently not much time had passed since I went downstairs. Being that my clock had run out of batteries, had to rain it for so long, had it no time pass. But my hand on the clock was ticking forward at one second every second as usual. As I put the still warm receiver to my ear, I felt so frozen moving once again. Hello, I should sound sorry to keep you waiting. No, not at all. I didn't wait long. Apparently the amount of time I passed between myself and as she sound was different. Over the phone I could hear the energetic rough around like something. It drove home how far away I should sound really was. Marina came just now. Did she come to play? I was unconfident but currently explained the situation. Didn't know right now I need didn't even know about Raina. I started out playing to ask Oh she saw more about Raina, but Raina's little visit had interrupted our conversation. Was it true? Was it false? I couldn't tell. The only truth I knew was this single from reality that Raina was suspicious. I might be able to figure this out. If I also asked what she saw about her until now I regretted it even when I was forced myself to ask these things. That I better off not knowing. But looking at the way you could say you could hit rock bottom, if there was a possible way I could feel any more regret than I did right now. Or rather, I wanted to know if there was anything beyond this I would regret more. Got about tomorrow, it wasn't about possibility about what happened tonight. I wanted to know everything I could. I was absolutely not going to die like this. Not without anything, I definitely won't. Regarding Reina Ryuga-san, I did a bit of... Yeah, well, it isn't much. I understood I was talking in circles a bit. I dug a bit hard to understand since she's your friend. Why don't you know everything in your research? I don't think you'll be very interested in what I have to say, though. And she's on. And calmly possibly you continued to avoid the issue. And then I said it. I think Reina Ryuga is suspicious. Even the past incidents where she was not as cursed, Reina Ryuga is involved. You have some sort of proof that makes you believe Raina is suspicious. And I wish her phone became very firm. Do you have any sort of proof? That was him talking as the detective. I only have circumstantial evidence. I see. I could tell even over the phone how disappointed Rosh Islam was. Pulling on the fishing line, he felt a bit to real the bait, disappointed, but ready to cast the line once more. That's how it seemed. Rosh Islam, you can do anything without physical proof, can you? I meant was, you can't come see me without proof. I stuck that verb in there. Was she still loved around about what he said? He understood me just fine. Fly my virus on. I'll protect you. That was a least bit reassuring. Was she saw him was just using me to continue his investigation. I was going to get killed and my corpse would be an important piece of evidence. That was all I was to him. Whether I'm alive or dead may be no consequence to your investigation. But it's all f over for me when I die. So I'm silent on the other end of the line. That may have been too blunt, but I didn't care. All I needed to know, the lion I she saw was I was currently in a very dangerous position. Please tell me, tell me about Reina. But though she transferred out, not too far in the future, I'll probably also do what Reina called transferring out as well. But you won't be able to find the corpse. You haven't been able to find Satoshi's body yet. All right, my son, please calm down. I express my agitation even without what she's not telling me. I'm solve anything. I can continue to scream, but my mistrust 
in the place. I would seem it would seem that I could depend on myself and the bat Satoshi left behind to protect myself. Then I at least wanted to know about the what happened before Rana transferred schools. It really is not very interesting, right? Dissolve can be swayed and finally cave. Right now, tell me there's nothing I'll find on interesting, please. Two things I need to argue. Okay, please keep this confidential. Also, part of this may be speculation. All of it may be true. Are you still interested? It may not be true. I do not understand what you mean. Main investigation for mysterious chains of dust on Hinemisawa. One is treated as an individual. Each one is attributed as an individual case. Thus, Rainer Ryuga has never been linked to any of the investigations. Basically, you see, this is an investigation of Reina done by the police, and a personal inquiry is what you're telling me. This will make things a lot quicker for you to understand. It all, all of it comes from phone calls or meetings or interviews, so they aren't corroborated. I'm asking you to take this off with a grain of salt, if, is what I mean. Do we have an agreement? Oh, you just said what you heard. Yes, my apologies. It's all personal investigation, you see. That thing. Before you said you saw Reina's chart, didn't you? I'm sure you said you saw that. Or she sent pause for a moment on the end of the line. I told you that too. <laughs> we pretend you didn't hear anything about that. I didn't care. I was just like having certain obligations and responsibilities. But I also didn't care if there was no proof. Even if there were just rumors. There's no smoke without a fire, after all. Please tell me, Oshisan. Understood. Oshisan opened his tight lips. Seeing Reina lived in Hidimizawa a long time ago. Okay, we're gonna leave it here. Now, I'll see you guys in another episode where we'll figure out what the hell Reina is doing. So, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna save. So, yeah. I don't even know what to call this episode, but whatever. It's good, and I like it, so I'll see you guys in another episode. I love y'all very, 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 very much. And I got to say, bye! Hey guys, this is, was Vichir Reaper, and uh, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified and join the notification squad. Also, check out my Teespring and Red Bubble shops, links below, with my Tumblr, Tapastic, and Amino na app name. Thank you for watching. Hit the Patreon icon to help me continue making cool content for you all. Love you guys, and see you in the next video. Bye!